Hey everyone, it's Skyman on the channel. I'm going to be doing a review on the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Scrap Metal. This is the first one of the Constructicons I have to look at. Here's the front of the packaging. Here is this side of the packaging. The other side of the packaging with Devastator on it and an old Devastator logo right there. Here's the top. Here's the bottom of the packaging. And here's the back of the packaging right there. Here's the backdrop right there. Here's the pyramids from Revenge of the Fall. And this pretty much the same thing Rampage comes with. And Think right there, you can see the shadow right there. So when you put the figure there, it kind of looks like there's a shadow right there. And there's a Devastator logo right there. So here we have Scrap Metal and his Power Shovel Miller. I think this is Power Shovel. As you can see, it rolls nicely. It's, it's very accurate, as you can see, even though we didn't really see him much in the movie. It does have articulation right there, there, and there. So pretty basic, and it rolls nicely, as you can see does have a lot of nice sculpt work on it, as you can see. This part is a separate piece right there. And uh, yeah, here's the underside and all. And again, it rolls pretty nicely. And uh, now to get him in this hand mode, first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove uh, this piece right there. You wanna untap that, move that out of the way, then move this on this double hinge if I can. Let's move that right there. Rotate this, move that down, fold uh, this section out if I can. Pull that out, do the same thing right there. Just get that out, rotate this like that, then fold the hand out, get it like that right there, and take this piece right there, then fold that out like so. Flip the combiner piece out if I can. I can't really get that right now. You wanna fold the hands like this, and then you wanna split it some right there. And, uh, hold on one second. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's how you get him into his hand mode. Now, quickly, I'll get him back into his, uh, power shove mode. Then we'll go to robot mode. In robot mode, first thing, you have to remove that, obviously. Then, um, untab the, uh, the legs. I believe so. I'm right there. Untab that. Untab that. Rotate. Rotate. Fold this foot out like that. Fold the foot out like that. And chicken leg him like this. And then hold on. Fold this piece up. Tie that in. And then untab this. Move that up. Untab this. Actually, it's not tapped into anything. I just want to move that up. Hold on. You want to untab this. Tie that in. Wait, actually, before you do that, unmove this. Rotate the head. Tab this piece in, tab that arm in, tab that arm in, hold the head up, like this, move the shell right there, like this, rotate the arms, then rotate this, then fold the hand outward, rotate the hand, and how do I do this, let me get this, roll, fold that hand out, like this, and uh, there we go, there we have scrap metal. Wait, actually I forgot. You wanna put this piece right onto there like uh, this, if I can. Hold on. And there we go, now we have scrap metal in his robot mode. As you can see, he looks pretty nice as, for the most part. As you can see, he looks very accurate to what he looked like in the movie, even though we never actually saw him much in the movie. And again, it does retain the yellow from the vehicle mode, as you can see. Head sculpt does look pretty nice. As you can uh, see, you can't really see the eyes that well, but they do look. But the, it does look pretty nice for the most part. You can't really see the eyes that well. Yeah, you can kind of see them. They're painted red, right? They're just so deep, and you can't really see them all that much. And again, most of the figure does look pretty nice, as you can see. It has a lot of nice sculpt. The details, you can see, most of it's from the uh, the, uh, the the power show mode, but that's okay. But the articulation, head, some ball didn't look side. The side looks up, down some. Arms, ball joint, rotate, move outward like so. Double joint elbows do transformation, bicep rotation. And the fingers can only do that due to the transformation. Nothing at the waist, just do the transformation. Legs move forward quite a bit, move back some. Move outward that much. And oops, I just popped it off the ball joint. I'll fix that later on. And rotates right there at the knee, do the transformation. Knees can bend and the feet can only do that. Just do the transformation. It's all the articulation you get. It's almost five minutes tight there, as you can see. And that's all for review on the Studio Series Deluxe Class Scrap Metal Box.